Oh hi there! Are you looking to learn how to edit lightsabers and other lasery things? Well you've come to the right place. In this video I'll take you along as I turn this shot into this. I whipped up something like your average Order 66 mark the other day as our example for this video, and I've got two shots of it here in GIMP. Uh, one plane and another with three LEDs in the scene. Uh, one behind the lightsaber, one on the tip of the blaster, and one lighting up the hologram here. And at the end of the video we'll compare the edits on uh, the pre-lit and the plane shot, and you'll see why I highly recommend investing in those tiny LEDs, they make your life much easier. Now let's get to work. In the bottom right corner let's create a, a new layer. And you can leave all the settings untouched, just make sure that transparency is selected here. Now let's go to the toolbox or hit B on the keyboard to select the path tool. It's similar to the lasso tool, but quite literally more flexible. And uh, we'll use it to outline the blade here. Hold control and click on the first point to close the loop. Then grab the line, pull it, and use the little arms to manipulate the shape to whatever you want. I'm going to stay pretty close to the original here, but you do whatever shape you want. Hit enter to transform the path into a selection. Then select the fill tool in the toolbox or with shift B on the keyboard. Make sure white is selected as the foreground color here and click into the selection to fill it. Remove the selection using Control shift A or by going to select none. And we've got a white blade. I'll enable the pre-lit layer to give us a sense of the blade color we need to match. Uh, let's go to Filters, Blur now, and use the Gaussian Blur. Make sure the blade layer is selected on the right. And just go with the default here for now. Now in the bottom right corner, click Duplicate. Then go to Color, Colorize. And I already did a test edit, and I have the colors that I want saved here in the last use presets. So I'll just go with those, but you use the color selector to choose whatever color you want for your lightsaber. I'll hit OK and go back to the Gaussian Blur. Now this time we'll blur it a little more, not too much, but considerably. I click OK and uh, there we are. Looks off, doesn't it? Well, you're right. Let's go to the layers, uh, drag the green one below the white one. There we are. It's not really effective yet though. So let's disable the white layer and uh, duplicate the green. Go back to color and colorize. And I'll now select a more yellowish green I preset earlier to match the LEDs hue a little better. And we'll blur this new color as well. Considerably more than the previous ones though. And once again drag it below the previous layer, enable the white again. And uh, I feel like the green here could use some more softness. Uh, so back to the blur. And let's give it a touch more here to blend with the yellow more smoothly. Now let's select the yellow, duplicate it, drag it underneath. And let's turn this into a very, very broad light cast. Lots of blur here. Now duplicate the white on top, and let's blur the hell out of this as well. And that's just to brighten the overall area. And let's rename these layers real quick so you can follow more easily. There we go. Now select the top layer, that's the big white blur we just made, and set its blend mode to overlay. Next up, take the white blade and set the blend mode to Addition. And the same goes for all the colored layers here. 
and that just embeds the separate layers into the image more. Now to the blaster. The same basic technique applies here, so uh, let's make a new layer. Uh, let me call that blaster. And we'll use the path tool again to create our basic shape. Stick the first point sort of where the bolt leaves the barrel. You can see that pretty well here in the unlit shot. Got the LED there, cable going around the top and behind the blaster. And remember to stay in line with the barrel here. So next point about here. And then hold control and click the first point again. Grab the line and pull it to open up the loop. And once again use the arms here to create the desired shape. Something like that. Sweet. Hit enter to make the selection. And use the fill tool to fill the selection with white. We'll take care of it being in front of the ropes here in a second. Shift Ctrl A to remove the selection. Uh, instead of the Gaussian blur we're now going to use the linear motion blur. Uh, increase the length to see where it's going. And change the angle to roughly match the orientation of the gun using the angle slider here. That looks pretty good. Uh, set the length of the blur to whatever you like. And hit OK to apply it. Now let's take care of the edge here. We want the shot to go behind the fig, not in front of it. So use the lasso tool, holding left click and trace the edge of the cape. Go around and close the selection by hitting enter. Then click delete on the keyboard and shift control A to remove the selection. And here we are. Now let's duplicate that shape. Go to color, colorize and let's make it blue. We're working with white and you can't color white so drag down the lightness first. Now let's try to match the blue shade in the back here. And that might take a while, might not be perfect, but just play around with it and you'll get there. I think this is pretty good. Hit OK. Drag the blue below the white. And let's soften the blue using the Gaussian blur again. Duplicate the blue and open the blur again. Uh, blur it a good bit more than the other now. You can see this is a recurring theme here. I feel like it needs a lighter shade around the center though, so let's duplicate the white, drag it below, disable the top so we can see what we're doing, go to colorize again, use the last used parameters, and let's make it just a little brighter. Blur it again. Not too much though. Uh, let's see it with the white. I think that's pretty good. Let's hit OK. Now you can see the blurred blues here and I think that's fine. Similar to uh, how the light wraps around the hair here, it seems pretty natural. But using the eraser tool here, you can reduce or remove that from all the layers you want. Now let's change all the layer modes for the blaster bolt to addition. And you can see how that blends the bolt with the light in the scene much, much better. Here's a little before. And there's after. And let's set the white to addition as well. Actually, I think it looks better on normal here, so let's just leave it as it is. Duplicate the white layer. And really blur that. Sort of like that. And let's set the blend mode here to overlay. Here's before and after. And this just ties together this whole section here. Now then. While we're here, let's actually crop the picture. 
got the Jedi fairly centre framed here. Click on it to crop the selection. And there we go. I'd say this looks quite nice already, but I think we can elevate it even more, around the light areas here especially. I prepped some acids here for this, some lens dirt and abstract patterns. And I'll just grab the lens dirt here and move it over to our picture. Place it on top of the lightsaber. I'll take the oval selection to it. Make a selection here. I'll feather the selection by like 300 pixels. Hit Ctrl I to invert the selection. You can also go to Select and Invert here. Right click on the layer if the name is bold. Then find Add Alpha Channel. And hit Delete to get rid of what we just selected here. Remove the selection once again and set the blend mode to addition. And you can instantly see the effect here. Putting it above or below the lightsaber layers will make it look slightly different. Just play around and see what you like. I'll change the opacity if you think it's too heavy. I like this effect as it kind of looks like dust and particles in the air glittering on the light of the blade, which is, you know, just another little detail. Now then, uh, let's take the other texture over here, drag it over to our picture, and I want this pattern here uh, sort of like plasma smoke on the muzzle. So let's use the lasso tool to cut away some of the stuff we don't need. Select none, and we'll use the eraser to smooth out the edge and isolate the part that we want. Sweet, now let's set the blend mode to addition. You can see it's a very subtle effect, but I think it adds another layer of complexity to the shot and helps tie the edit into the picture even more. Now let's see how the effect looks on the shots without the LEDs. As you can see, it looks decent. I guess, but the practical lights casting real color and shadows on the build are on a whole other level. And I'll let you decide if lights are a worthy investment here. I think you know my stance on this by now. Now we didn't do anything to the hologram in this video, which is because it's almost the same process as the lightsaber. The only difference being to set all the blend modes of all the layers to overlay instead of addition. And in addition to that, you can also make another layer, set its blend mode to overlay and then use the brush tool and some shade of blue as your foreground color to paint fake light spill onto the things around the hologram such as the helmet and the tree here. Now I'll go with the pre-lit shot here though, disable the hollow edits because I think it looks pretty great as it is. And then I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate the entire project file. Then right click and select flatten image which combines everything we just did into a single picture. And now we can apply a very simple grade to the combined image to tie it all together. I'm just doing a very simple S-curve edit here for more contrast and saturation. And here's a little before and after. Hit OK to apply. And I'll add my watermark here real quick. Set that to overlay. And with that, I would call this picture finished. Let's go up here to File, Export As, or hit shift Control e click Export, drag the quality slider to 100, no need to change any of the advanced options here, just make sure it goes into the correct folder, and hit Export. To save the project file with all the layers for later, if you want to edit it later, just hit Control s Set your desired folder and file name and click save. And that's it for this video. 
I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. To chat with me and other builders, feel free to join my Discord server through the link in the description. Share this video around if you found it useful. And until next time, as always, keep breaking.